Hi, it's Chris. Going to talk about some Osida. Going to do this quickly in a bit more informal setting today. Uh, chilling out. It's been a nice day. Um, very hot. It's cooling down now. It's very pleasant out here. Uh, but a good way to end a nice hot day is a nice cold cider, I think. And we're going to do this one. There you go. That is seven ciders, medium. Seven cider, Forest of Dean. Beautiful part of the world. Slight hit there. Not too much carbonation in it. Whoa, he says as it leaks all over the table. See, it's quite fizzy. Um, and it's quite cold as well. So, so yeah, I've had a few things on these. They do a, a dry, medium, and a sweet. Um, this is all I have in stock at the moment. I'm going to get some more. Easy drinking. Uh, Tom Bull is the cider maker. He is in wood and steel and plastic. This is a blend, nice colour. Look at that. Very gold and bright, so filtered. I'm thinking a lot of people filter for bottles just because people, some people are still churlish about hazy beverages. Nothing wrong with unfiltered stuff, you know, but this looks prettier in a glass or a bottle, I guess. Um, he is using lots of traditional varietals from their own um, orchards. In Gloucestershire, in the Forest of Dean. Um, yeah, so he's blending stuff that's been in inert vessels and oaked vessels, I assume, because this has got quite a pure apple character, but there is a hint in the background of some uh, microorganism activity, oxygenation and stuff, which I like. I like that. A little bit of uh, earthiness, a bit of funk. See on the nose, really beautiful, ripe red apples on the nose. Really nice, really pure. Um, maybe a hint of, I mean, it's all wild yeast as well. Maybe a hint of, I'm not sure what else, vanilla or something. Like a slightly baked apple aroma as well, which I like a lot. So, force carbonated, so, but not too much. Light in force carbonate, which is good. Yeah, lots of apple flavour. This is a. I don't think it's super sweet, but it hasn't got a lot of acidity, so it feels sweeter than it is. But it's not. It's not sweet at all. As in, it's not super sweet. You know, it's like a dessert wine. There is some tannin which I'm sensing is astringency rather than bitterness. Ripe red apple is the thing I'm getting the most. That's the flavour I'm experiencing the most. A little bit of tannin, a um, bit of minerality in the back, maybe a tiny hint of acidity, just a hint, and it feels like very light malic rather than like lactic acid. Um, pleasant cider. Um, it's not that expensive. Uh, it's all the red apples. They're using wild yeast. They're a really interesting producer. I think it's better than almost everything you get on the supermarket shelf. Um, and on hot days like today, I think it's probably exactly what you want to drink. It is 5.8%, so reasonably strong. Um, they also do a sweet and a medium, as I, as I said. I actually kind of prefer the sweet and the medium for my palate. I prefer the extremes of them. Um, and I find the, the actual sweet has got, it's offset by a little bit of um, oxidization, tannin, something which makes it feel more balanced. It's got more funk in it. The dry isn't bone dry, there's a hint of sugar which offsets all those characteristics. I, I just find that this is kind of everything blurs into one a bit with this. The extremes, I think, there's more definition. However, having said that, nice thing to drink on a hot day. So, yeah, um, if you want something nice, rich, apple tasty, and refreshing. This will do the job. Okay, guys, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll be back soon. Cheers.